guys, it's Sandy, and instead of a Bible journaling video this week, I have something different. I have an invitation and a prayer request. Let's do the invitation first, and that is to join me for a Lenten challenge. I've done a couple of those daily challenges. I did Inktober, and then I did my sketchbook challenge during December for my church's 40 days of prayer and fasting. And I have not done a Bible journaling challenge to myself. And it's not just for the sake of doing a challenge, but to get me back into doing it very, very regularly. I've kind of gotten into like, you know, a couple times a week maybe, and I want to get more serious about it and spend more time with the Lord, especially during the Lenten period, which is the 40 days before Easter. I did find over at christianbook.com, I found this little book, and it's called A Journey Through Lent, Reflecting on Christ's Sacrifice for Us. And it looks pretty good. It has on each each day, it's got a scripture to read. It has a little devotional and a prayer to read. So I'm planning on reading in the morning, praying all day about it, that scripture, and then creating something in the evening and posting it on Instagram and Facebook. So if you'd like to join me, then you can either get the book or I will post just the scriptures. I'll post them in the description down below, as well as I'll post them over on Instagram and Facebook so you can just follow along and do the scripture passages because I know shipping on a little book like this, it's just a $3 book, could be more than the book itself. But if you have not yet bought a journaling Bible, this would be a great opportunity to get the little book as well as a Bible. And I'm also going to put in the description a link for my favorite Bible that I, I use a lot that I think is a good generic recommendation. That I'll put that in the description down below. All right, the second part of this video is a prayer request. And God has been telling me for a while there's something coming. And I've been trying to prepare myself. He's been telling me that he's using, he's going to use my Toastmasters training for something, that that is a gift from him. I apparently am a fairly decent speaker, so yeah, I'm gonna see what he has to do with that. Well, I was already working on, in the last couple of weeks, I've been preparing a class for my art classes site, so my second Bible journaling class, and this one is going to be on seeing the scriptures, really visually interpreting what the scriptures say in, in some sort of an image, and how do you figure out what that image is, because not all verses, of course, have something that's obviously visual in them, and there's ways to pull out things that will help you to document what God has said to you in the scripture. So it's more of a head class than it is an art class. I'm going to show you some examples of each of the ones that I've done for the verses that are in the class, but it's going to be more of a thinking, how to think through the scriptures, how to pray through them, how to study them in a way that's going to help you to do Bible journaling or any kind of fine art. All of that was underway when this other thing came. My past, one of the pastors at my church saw my 40 days of sketching that I did in December and said, can you teach people how to think through the scriptures that way and create art that is based on scripture, that is steeped in scripture? Because a lot of times, you know, I'll paint a bear and they want to hang it on the wall and then I have to find a verse that goes with the bear. This method takes the scripture first, and then asks God, what do you want to come out of that scripture? So it's kind of a different way of looking at it. And we were just talking about how I did those sketches, and he said, can you teach a class on that? And I told him I was already planning the online one, and that was all fine. And he said, no, we really want you to teach a seminar in this, a two-day workshop. You have to understand something. At my church, we have a Bible college on site, Life Bible College, and we have people who are scholars, Bible scholars in my church. These are people who know what they're doing. I am not one of those. I am not educated in that way. I am, have fallen in love with the scriptures because of Bible journaling, but I'm not smart that way. <laughs> it makes me really nervous to think of teaching my methods to people who know so much more about scriptures than I do. But God has said he's given me this knowledge as a gift and I am to share it and I have agreed to do the class. It's going to be at the end of February, the 23rd and 24th, I think, that weekend. And the weekend before that, I'm going to be at a Bible journaling retreat in Indianapolis. So I'm going to be probably just praying like crazy during that whole time. God, tell me what to do. 
But the in-person class has totally different scriptures, of course, than the one that I've prepared online because they want a theme to it. So there you go. Nonetheless, the prayer request is one for that class to go well and for me not to have any major foibles that happen. And of course, for people to come and to be blessed by it and to be able to go out and create art from it and not just Bible journaling, but to do fabric art and woodworking and drawing and painting and pottery and whatever else the Lord tells them to make from the scriptures. So there's that. But there's also what else God wants me to do. And I don't know what that is yet. I don't have, I don't know, I don't have a skin on it yet. And he's been telling me that he wants to use my Toastmasters experience. Maybe this is what that is. Maybe this is the kickoff to that. If this class goes well and I don't get shouted out of the room, <laughs> then maybe I'm supposed to go on a circuit of all of the women's conferences across the country. I don't know how, if there is a circuit of that kind of thing, but maybe that's what I'm supposed to go, go, go and do. Maybe that will inspire Bible journaling groups or inspire other artists or inspire, I don't know what it's gonna, I, yeah, I really don't know. And I need God's wisdom. I need him to show me what that's going to be and give me the contacts to make it happen if that's indeed what he wants. So that's my prayer request. If you could just pray me through this, because I feel kind of confused about what he wants. And I want to hang on to the coattails of the Holy Spirit and go for this ride wherever it takes me, even if it makes me wet my pants. <laughs> Alrighty. Thank you guys so much for indulging me in this. If you want to get the book, it's listed in the doobly-doo down below. And if you don't want to, then you could just get the scriptures. And if not, you could just come and follow along and cheer me on as I go through this 40 days of preparation for Easter. All right. Thank you so much. You guys have a wonderful day. God bless you.